Hello guys, welcome to our channel that is Solid Master. In our session today, we will uh, show you how to use scopes in Python and how to do function arguments. So, our first topic subtopic is scope in Python. Its a definition is simple. It is a variable of a part of program where the variable is recognized. It refers to the region of the code where the variable can be accessed or modified. Generally, there are two types of variables scope in Python like global scope and local scope. So, first global scope is that it defines outside any function or, or class have a global scope. That means the variable which is defined outside of any function or class having the uh, global scope, it can be accessed from any part of the code both inside and outside the function. So I will show you the example of this also. And second one is the local scope variable. It is defined as a function having a local scope inside the function. It can be accessed within that function only, not outside the function. So there is the main difference in this scopes in Python. So let's show you the example of it. So first I will declare the variable here in python global variable this is our uh, variable name that I have suggested and I will put here some value first I will make one list I will put here some values here like this Now I will define the function here. So for that I will use def keyword. As I show you the earlier video in that if you define the function whenever you will define it you have to use the function def keyword. So for that I will give the function name also. Our function name will be same function and I will make here parenthesis. So that we can save our values in this name of the function. Now I will put here colon. That means we have end our syntax here only. Now our next syntax I will print here. Print. Now print. After the print I will make here string1 values. Or global scope. I will give you a colon inside the string. Now, comma. I will uh, put here our variable name that I have used global variable. Now, I will uh, define the name outside so that. We have to call our function. Now I will run the program. So as you see here, our uh, value has been called out like this. Values of global scope is 10, uh, sorry, 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. Like this, we can call out the our global variable. So now I will uh, make one next example that is local scope. So for that I will comment this one and, and, and I will define the local scope. So for that use that keyword as same as it and I will make here the uh, function name different local. print uh, no sorry first I will choose here local variable is equal to I will make one list here 200 400 600 800 now I will print 
local variable again i will choose here list i will write type here list value of local scope sorry Now I will call out like this and I will run the code here. So as you see here our local scope variable also be printed here. So like this way you can uh, define the global and local scope variable. Now you have doubt regarding that if we uh, try to access the local variable outside the function by calling the same name it will get an error if we uh, have to do the same name function it is important to note that if a variable with the same name exists in both local and global scope the local scope takes the precedence with the function so i will show you the example of this also uh, x I will define the variable x is equal to 1000. This is our global variable. I will comment this one so that you can read it. Now I will make here another variable that is x is equal to 5, 500 and this is our local variable that I am defining it. Now I will print here print x and after that I will define here function name and print here x. So remaining that I have written here I will comment this one. Now I will type here global clear this all stuff. Now I will run the code. So as you see here, uh, I am defined the same name with two different values. So our first value has been printed that is x is equal to 500 local variable with the same name as global scope. And here, if you see this, this will print the global scope, not the local one. So here, our x is equal to 1000 that we have got and x is equal to 500. If I comment this one, then again I will run it. It will get 1000 variable because now x is not defined. This print function will print the global scope variable, not local one, and this variable will print the local variable, not global variable here. So 
सो दिस इज अवर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लोकल एंड ग्लोबल फ्लो विथ सेम और डिफरेंट फंक्शन नेम इन पैटर्न नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट सब टॉपिक विल बी फंक्शन आर्ग्यूमेंट सो जनरली वॉट इज फंक्शन आर्ग्यूमेंट इन प्रोग्रामिंग दिस आर्ग्यूमेंट प्रोवाइड द इनपुट टू द फंक्शन अलाउविंग टू परफॉर्म द ऑपरेशन और कैलकुलेशन बेस्ड ऑन प्रोवाइडेड वैल्यू फंक्शन कैन हैव जीरो और मोर आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड द नंबर टाइप ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट डिपेंड ऑन हाउ द फंक्शन इज डिफाइंड सो देर आर फोर सेवरल पर्पज ऑफ फंक्शन आर्ग्यूमेंट आर इनपुट टू द फंक्शन पैरामीटराइजेशन मॉड्यूलरिटी कस्टमाइजेशन so first is input to function it allows you to pass the data to function enable it to work with different outputs this is the input to the function next one is parameterize that is the function can be designed to accept the parameters making them flexible and weak and you can use the same function with different argument to perform similar operations that we can do here next one is modularity uh, it defines the argument pro promote modular code by encapsulating the specific functionality with a function you can use that functionality in various parts of your program next one is customization it uh, it provides a way to customize the behavior of a function like sorting function might take an argument to specify the to specify the sorting as uh, the ascending or descending order so for this i have uh, make one code i will run your code it uh, function arguments are also called as parameter they can use to pass in function when calling it it provides the different output so i will uh, make one code here def add number this is our uh, function name result is equal to a plus b so here i will pass some argument a comma b this is our argument and i will choose here return type function so that our value has been uh, display here so i will make one another variable in global scope is equal to some result so equal to add numbers so i will pass here value for a and b parameter i will choose here 344 comma 500 now i will make a print result so i will make a comment this will print some variable that is defined outside function so now i will run this code aha uh -huh. this is our uh, earlier one i will i have not done the comment here so if you see here our value has been passed that is 844 that we have got again i will run it so that you can clearly clearly get it so this is our answer that we have got 
so i hope you got it in this example i have passed here the two argument that is a and b are function argument when you call the add numbers function with argument that is uh, 344 and 500 as the value that are assigned to a and b within the function the result is the same of this value so this is the example of it of function argument there are more and more function arguments example that are uh, that is this is the one that i have shown so in our next uh, video i will show you how to use recursion and lambda function in python so i will end up my session here so guys thank you for watching it uh, soon i will place one video of python so please subscribe our channel so that we can uh, make more projects for you in our python and next our c++ program thank you for watching it